So we had a slight change of plans today. I was talking to a guy just up the road and he told me that the, the road I want to go on, I probably can't get my truck down it because it's very steep. There's lots of switchbacks and they, and they don't maintain it anymore. Uh, so he said it would be really dangerous. I might be able to get up it, he said, um, but it's mostly just a four wheel, like a four wheeler road now. Those are the mountains I want to go in. Those are the uh, Sierra Anchas, this wilderness area. We want to go on the other side. And at the top of this mountain here, there was a road that cuts back and runs in the valley on the other side. And that's the one we wanted to be on. But we had to go all the way down to the bottom, way, 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 way down there and uh, sneak back up around that way. So we're not going to be able to get up to the ruins that I wanted to visit uh, today. So we'll camp up that way and we'll get up there first thing in the morning. So we're slowly getting there. We've been on this road for about an hour. Off in the distance is the Fort Apache uh, Indian Reservation. And we're going to be kind of skirting it on the left-hand side, heading up to the wilderness area. And Cherry Creek should be down there in the bottom where it's green. Beautiful country, no one around. I got it all to myself today. Well, the road has definitely gotten worse, but we can still make it. You can see it goes across the side of the mountain way over there. Uh, and disappears off in the distance, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful area. Really like it here. Look at those mountains. We're going to climb up them tomorrow. With any luck, <laughs> I need some on this trip. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we basically made it. Awesome. <laughs> We're going to go down. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to camp tonight, but this sign tells us a little bit about what we're going to be seeing. It's the Sierra Ancha Cliff Dwellings. They were built between 1280 and 1350 AD by the Salado Indians. And this cliff dwellings is a trail. I think that's where the trail goes up through there. And I believe it goes off either to, well, right or left. I can't remember, but I, I was here once before. It's a long ways up. It's going to take us all day to get up there and back again. We're not going to be able to get out today and do that. But we are going to hike down to the river, which is down in there. And uh, we might hike around a little bit down there. All right, so let's go see if we can find a place to camp and we'll maybe take a little hike down along the river tonight. We'll save the tough stuff for tomorrow. So we're just gonna camp down here below the canyon. It looks like uh, some type of corral. And um, somebody had a fire here, so we'll just open the gate and go in. Set up camp right there, what do you say? Beautiful, there's a road up there. We probably won't go out that way though. They, the uh, rabbit guy said that I probably couldn't make it in the big truck. So let's just set up, go, go ahead and set up camp and wait for the bullies to come out. Basically, the rules out here are that, you know, if you open a gate, you close it. So I'm going to have to close the gate that we just opened. Um, I guess we'll be in with the cows. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so awesome tomorrow. The video will be so much more sweet. When the light's better. The light's just terrible right now because the sun's gonna wash everything out. You see the peak off in the distance. That's that's where we're going tomorrow. We're gonna hike way up there. Today we're just gonna hike around here, check out these corrals, the uh, rivers down below us or the cherry run cherry creek. We'll just splash around here with the cows tonight. What do you say? It's gonna be awesome. This is National Forest Land. Oh, there you go. Forest Service. And uh, people, farmers or ranchers, can rent it and run cattle out here. I don't know how they find enough to eat. There's really not much out here. This is their corral, I guess, where they gather them up when they're shipping them in and out. This thing could have been here 100 years. Well, maybe not 100, but I bet you it's been here a long time. We'll look for scorpions tonight. Probably all over the place here. Huh? I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I guess we were corralled. I know what that means. You can't get out. There's a gate over here. We'll go out that way. We'll go down to the creek. It looks like it's about another 100, 150 feet down. Uh, well, yeah, right with a gate that says closed. And the rules out here, of course, are if the gate is open, you leave it open. If the gate is closed, you leave it closed. This one's closed. It's hard to do that with a camera in one hand. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just pushing the stick over that way. The loop will come off and I'll be able to step through and re-loop it on my way out. 
All right, let's follow the cow trail down. Boy, it's a rocky cow trail. Down the hills of the creek. Uh, this is Cherry, Cherry Creek. Hey, when I was here many years ago, there were um, all kinds of uh, Indian dwellings all along the creek too. Not just up in the cliffs, but you know, they weren't um, really nice looking, but you could see the foundations. All right, we'll wait till we get to the bottom, then we'll turn it back on. This is the cow trail we're walking down. Look how much it's eroded from the cows, keeping it all torn up. You'll probably almost go under that, but I guess we'll go over the top. Looks like a campfire ring down there, too. And you can see the water. I figure we'll just follow the trail down here, see what we can find. Might be something of interest. Oh, I wish I would have brought my soap. I could have had my first bath in two weeks. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It really is. But well, there's no one out here to smell me. Nice sand down here. These are cow tracks here. I don't remember where the ruins were. I found some ruins. We'll go up in there and look around. There might be some up there. Ah, beautiful place, huh? See some human tracks, some cow tracks. Look at that. What is that thing for? Some type of gauge. More kind of like off the beaten trail here. And that's a river gauge. I guess they'll know if we get a big storm up in the mountains, maybe. When this river comes up really fast, maybe that'll set off some type of warning, warning system. But they'll know downstream. I wonder what dug this up. They really dug it up a lot, didn't they? I don't see any tracks. Must be pretty old. We'll go with coyotes, probably. I don't really see much up here. There's another tree that's all dug up. Probably getting something that's nesting up in that tree. I don't see any sign of any tracks. I'm working my way up this cow path on the opposite side of the creek from where we're parked. I wanted to see what was on top and get a look around. That's kind of an interesting stone right there. It almost looks like it was worn by man. I don't know for sure. It's kind of unusual looking though. All right, I'm just following this cow path. This is another big flat area above the creek. We're a few hundred feet above it. The perfect spot for a little settlement. So let's look around. We'll go over to the base of the mountains at least and see if we can find any signs of an ancient settlement. I'm not seeing any pottery or anything yet though, which is not a good sign. A big bone or somebody's cow or horse. Well, I've looked all around up here and I don't see any sign whatsoever of habitation. There's no uh, pottery and there's normally lots of pottery out here. And these Indian settlements, you know, the ones that are like 800 or 1,000 years old. And uh, there's no shards of um, like obsidian or flint or chert where they would make their stone tools, like their stone knives and awls and things like that. So I think we just struck out on this one. But that happens all the time to me. Sometimes I get lucky though and find a good spot. It's going to be fun going up there tomorrow. I can't, oh, there's a truck way over there. Kind of like right in the middle of the screen. So we'll work our way. We'll drop over the side here and just go back down to the creek. Very disappointed there's nothing up here. I thought it could at least a little something to look at. Talk about a private beach down here. <laughs> Man, this would be awesome. Well, it is awesome. And that's actually deep enough to swim around in right there. Nice and sandy. Beautiful rocks down here. That's a nice deep pool. Look at that. Conglomerate. Wow, that's way over my head. <laughs> awesome. Ah, let's go down there. See how these uh, bushes have been bent over. I guess they're willows, I think. They've been bent over by the uh, water coming down this canyon. Just bends them over like that. Pretty neat, huh? This room camped, and that's where we're going to be going tomorrow. All the way up there on those highest of peaks. 
I doubt you can see any of the dwellings from here. I think they're up in between those uh, canyons, between the peaks on the right and the left. That's where we're gonna go tomorrow. So excited.